Hi, everybody. Good day. No matter when it is, it's a good day. It could be morning. It could be afternoon. It could be evening. This is Pastor Doug uh, with another midweek moment here as we wrap up August and move into what is really seen as the gateway to fall and autumn uh, prayerfully, we hope, with cooler weather uh, as we go in toward Labor Day. Uh, this is a midweek moment for St. Andrew's Lutheran and Speedway and Faith Lutheran and Avon. Just a couple minutes of encouragement as we go through the daily grind. Just one quick announcement, and that is remember uh, the time, the worship times are changing on September 3rd, that uh, Faith Lutheran Avon will move to 9 a.m., and uh, St. Andrew's and Speedway will move to 11 a.m., St. Andrews is preceded in that first hour at 10 o'clock, the hour right before worship for adult Bible study, if you're so inclined. As you um, listen to this and watch this video, I will be on retreat, retreat, not a retweet, but a retreat <laughs> before uh, well, let me just say months ago, I opted to go to this four-day retreat. It's at Mount St. Francis, Mount St. Francis Retreat Center. Uh, it's in Mount St. Francis, Indiana, but it's down on the Indiana and Kentucky line, uh, state line. I think it's in Greenville near that area. And I just saw, I saw Mount St. Francis on online on Facebook and was immediately drawn as I often am into these retreat places. I've done this many times in my three years, uh, particularly it's healthy and helpful after Easter. That week after Easter is a time I enjoy retreat. This, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. There is some uh, programming. There's a, a spiritual director that we'll get to meet with. And I believe we're going to have some time for quiet rest and reflection. I'm I'm taking a book by Brene Brown called Dare to Lead, Dare to Lead about leadership. I plan to work through that while I'm on this retreat and read that book and bring it forward to the councils in the new year uh, to look at our leadership in the congregation. But as you listen to this, I'm on retreat. I'm on retreat. And of course, if you look it up, as I love to look up the basics, basic words, retreat is to withdraw from a battle when attacked by the enemy. But essentially, the word retreat does mean a kind of a withdrawal, a, a pulling back from the world and a time of, of quietude and prayer. For me, when I drive onto the campus of any one of these spiritual retreat centers, these monasteries and and places I have been, it's an immediate shift in my spirit that you can feel when you drive on their property, come off of the highway, if you will, like uh, the one that's up in Tipton, you come right off of uh, one of the highways right onto their property. And uh, it's just an immediate shift because that world in the monastery setting, that campus is just a different world, quiet, uh, private, um, usually not a, a ton of people, all the things that are meaningful to me when you can get away from the world and the traffic and the driving, which is all part of my life. So I really look forward to these. I'm thankful for continuing ed, continue, continuing education time and some dollars through my uh, salary program where I can get away and do these kinds of things it seems to fall at just the right time uh, in between funerals uh, as we prepare to say uh, goodbye to Dale Willman on, on Saturday. Friday night is the viewing from 5 to 7, and then Saturday morning at 11 is the service itself for Dale. And then over at Faith, uh, Don Damro passed. And uh, his funeral's not known at this recording time, but it'll likely be the week after Labor Day. So uh, it comes at a good time. It's always God's timing to retreat, to get away. And Jesus models this for us, again, like everything else in faith, because six different times Jesus gets away by himself to pray. 
He's either preparing for some major ministry like he does at the beginning after his baptism when he goes away for prayer, or it could be after an event. When John the Baptist is killed, he goes away to, to, to grieve and to have some time away from people. So friends, if Jesus models it for us, or tells us to do it, or does it himself, uh, any which way, we are also called to do that. And you don't need to, you know, pay some money and go to a place to retreat, although that's a beautiful way to do it. You and I have the gift of being able to retreat in daily living. You can take a spot, you know, I've mentioned before that I have my prayer pond. There's an abandoned office park near where I live. There's a beautiful pond there that's often got geese and ducks and leaves and trees and bushes and cardinals, red cardinals. I love going there and prayerfully wrapping up my day. And it's my uh, special retreat that's near the home. And you get the idea. You can do it within your home itself, a, a spot. You can set up an altar. You can pick a place where you're going to leave your Bible and your devotional books and your notebook or your journal and have a place of prayer right there within your home. Or you can go somewhere like I like to go to this uh, prayer pond, a prayer pond, or you can, you know, uh, in the Via de Cristo, we talk about making an altar call and you can go into church if you are able, or you can have somebody help you get in when you'd like, and you can go to the altar and, and kneel or just be seated and pray right there uh, in the sanctuary. That's a uh, really strong feeling and a strong sense of the Lord's presence when you go to the altar at church to pray. But you get the point. I'm away on retreat, thanks be to God, but you can do that as, as well. Join me this week. Take some timeouts each day. Jesus took 40 days. You can have 40 minutes of nothingness, of nothingness. You can watch your eyelids, you can read your Bible or your app on your phone, you can pray, you can journal. There are millions of opportunities uh, for things to do or just do nothing and just meditate and breathe deeply. And you just have to get your mind when you do that kind of thing to, to be like, uh, I picture like an open room with doors on either side, doors on either side of my mind, the room in my mind. And as the thoughts come, you just let them go out the doors, out the doors, out the doors. And eventually they spin away and, and your mind quiets down. But it takes, friends, it takes five to 10 minutes to get there when you're sitting quietly, meditating, deep breathing, centering prayer, uh, that kind of thing. So again, I'm just inviting you into a time of retreat with me this week. Take a few minutes during the day. Pray for me as I pray for you. Pray for our congregation and our council and God's will be done. As we say in the Lord's Prayer, thy will be done for our future together. And uh, again, thankful that I have that opportunity through my continuing ed budget and, uh, and days off in my uh, salary package uh, with the churches. And I'm on retreat, getting renewed. Uh, join all of us at St. Andrews as we say goodbye to Dale Willman and uh, usher him in uh, to heaven's presence on Saturday at 11, or there's the visitation Friday night, 5 to 7 at Flanner and Buchanan in Speedway. Flanner and Buchanan in Speedway, 5 to 7. All that's been sent out and made uh, aware on your email and so forth. God be with you till we meet again. See you next week on Labor Day with a time change for worship. God be with you till we meet again.